We are heading to a future where our bodies will be improved with technology, where the line that separates us from computers will be blurred. But what will happen when body improvements with tech become common? Would we be susceptible to cyber attacks? What if I told you that there are people who could die if they were attacked by a computer virus? Today, we're going to take a look at one of the imminent dangers of transhumanism. Transhumanism is the philosophy that believes that with the development of humans through technology, we can achieve immortality. Many wish for humans to transcend our biological limitations and transfer our consciousness to a hybrid or robotic body. Perhaps in our search for freedom from the mortal coil, we end up creating a new form of prison. Even though our organic bodies have their limitations, if they were completely robotic, this would make us susceptible to different attacks and or restrictions, as is the case of patients who currently have pacemakers. Many people around the world depend on this technology to keep their heart pumping and thus be able to live. In 2016, it was discovered that many of these pacemakers were susceptible to hacking since they use the internet through Wi-Fi for mandatory updates, just like any other smart device. Theoretically, a hacker could manipulate the rhythm of the pacemaker and cause a person's heart to stop. Medical examiners would believe that this was due to a heart attack, but in reality, the death was caused by a computer virus. And this is just the beginning. Currently, there are robotic implants for eyes, arms, and legs. And it is expected that in the near future, human organs may have their own robotic replacements. These implants are becoming smarter and more connected to the internet. Elon Musk has stated that his goal is for us to be able to connect our brains to computers, improve our cognitive functions, and achieve immortality. But think about what this would imply. Our brains permanently connected to the internet. There will surely be the possibility that governments would use this to arrest potential terrorists. If we knew the thoughts of people, we could prevent their future actions. And here is where the concerns of this possible unsettling future begins. Without taking into consideration that this can be dangerous, the government could use this to control us or even suppress our thoughts. With just the press of a button, they can send a code that would program us to comply with their orders without opposition. We could also be attacked by a computer virus that can cause our deaths immediately or maybe even control us into committing criminal acts. Our brains work through chemical and electrical reactions. If we had implants that can moderate these signals, we could be controlled. We may be on the verge of a massive struggle between the people who want to control our thoughts and the ones who just want to be free from mortality, as well as hackers who could find their newly found hackable toys amusing. Perhaps in our search for freedom from our mortal coil, we end up creating a new form of prison, a future where technology is used to improve the human body. But we must protect our free will and our freedom. However, humanity may already find itself heading towards this inevitable future. Tell me what you think about this topic. Do you think that improving ourselves with technology should be one of the main goals of humanity regardless of the risks from hackers and the government. Thank you all for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, assume nothing and question everything.